Hello and welcome to PSD Touch Plus. My name is Martin Perhiniak. In this video, I'm going to show you one of the amazing new features of Adobe Photoshop CC. I'm going to talk about the automatic upright feature of Camera Rule 8. I have a couple of images here and I'm going to show you several examples just to make sure you understand how it works. So basically this is for a geometric distortion correction or perspective distortion correction uh, which we can achieve with uh, using the new filter called Camera Rule Filter from Photoshop. But before I do that I'm going to try to use it non-destructively and for that I'm going to turn it to a smart object. So I right clicked on the layer, turn it to a smart object and then choose the Camera Rule Filter. Once we are here in the dialog box, we can go to this panel called Lens Corrections and here under the Manual tab, we have the Upright options. The first one is that it's disabled and then the next one is Auto, which will apply a balanced perspective. Then the third one is apply only level correction. Then this one is only uh, level and vertical perspective corrections. And then the last one is the level, horizontal and vertical perspective corrections. Now what works most of the time well is the auto. And in this case it will also work perfectly. So let's see before and after. This was before and this is after. So it nicely levels it out. Uh, I don't even have to uh, rotate the image around. So it does everything automatically and it looks so much better already. Now I don't even need to do any manual changes after this. I can just simply click on OK and all my changes will be saved non-destructively as a smart filter which I can always turn off or turn back on. Now let's move to the next example. I'm going to select this one here and I'm going to do the same thing. Convert this to smart object and then choose the same filter. Because in the previous example I used the camera roll filter already, the keyboard shortcut is set automatically to previously use filter to command or control F. And if I want to use the same feature, but I might want to make some changes to it, I can press command alt F or control alt F. And that will open up the camera roll dialog box and we can always make some changes here. So I can select lens corrections and choose again automatic. But we can also check if we only level the changes. Let's see how it looks before and after. That's only leveling. That didn't do much. And this is the vertical change. So all the vertical lines will be straight in this case. And um, I think, again, we can just stick to auto in this case. I think that did a really good job. Let's again click on OK. So we fix this as well. Let's go to this one. Now here it will be a little bit more visible what we are doing. So I'm going to again choose a smart object and command option or alt uh, control alt F to choose the previous filter. But remember it's under filter and camera rule filter. That's the way you can select it. Okay, so once again lens corrections and choose the automatic. Once again, it did a great job. Now it's a vertical, all lines that should be vertical are vertical, and the perspective is also fixed, even the rotation of the image. So I can click on OK. Let's see before and after. That's really cool. And now let's try something a little bit more complicated. So I'm going to again do the same thing, convert to smart object and choose the same filter, camera row filter. But in this case, if we go to the corrections and choose automatic, it will try to fix the image, but I'm not happy with these results. So I'm going to use in this case the last option, the full upright, which will try to straighten everything. And that's exactly what I wanted, but still I would like to tweak the image a bit. I'm going to rotate it a bit and try to level it out like that. I'm going to also scale it. So make sure that there's no uh, empty areas visible. And this line here on the right is still not straight. So I'm going to use the distortion option and try to make it straight. Okay, that looks better. And now I just need to do a bit of vertical transform to keep it completely straight, something like that. 
and then I can still scale the image a little bit okay so obviously now we cropped quite a, a lot from the top of the image but we can see that if I turn on the grid now everything is straight in this photo so if I click on OK we can see the changes we actually made everything straight so we completely got rid of the perspective distortion in the image so you can see that you can either use the auto feature or you can use one of the other features and then just tweak the distortion correction a bit I just would like to remind you that you can always go back to your changes if you use the smart object with this filter because now all these changes are saved as a smart filter so we can always come back here and we can make changes to it that's all I wanted to show you in this video but if you are interested about the other new features of Adobe Photoshop CC make sure you check out all the other videos here on PSD Touch Plus thanks a lot for your attention and see you next time